I'm Samuel Howard, I'm a composer and a performer, and in this session we'll be looking at how to approach playing nested tuplets. I will use a particularly infamous example from a piece entitled The Black Page No. 1 by Frank Zappa, and I will also reference one of my own pieces, Mr. G's Variations. This is a three-stage process, but before we break it down, let's define a nested tuplet. A nested tuplet is simply a tuplet which nests comfortably inside another tuplet. For example, if we take a quarter note triplet, and inside the quarter note triplet, we squeeze a little eighth note triplet, we have a nested tuplet. Step 1. Remove the overarching tuplet layers until the figure is reduced to its simplest form. In the case of the black page, we're going to remove the overarching half note triplet and renotate it in 3 4 time. The reason we're going to do this is because we're taking each quarter note from the half note triplet and adopting it as the new pulse. We could notate this in 6 4 time. I'll explain why I've chosen 3 4 later. Step 2 Learn this simplest version without worrying about the original pulse. You want to learn the phrase and how the rhythms relate to each other before you even begin to worry about playing this in reference to a completely different pulse. Step 3. Squeeze the figure into the space you have to play it in. This is a map that shows where the notes of the melody align with the basic quarter note pulses and where they align with the quarter note triplets. You can test your accuracy by checking that you hit these notes in the right spot. I recorded the marimba part to a click in 4-4 four four at 60 beats per minute and the synth part to a click in 3-4 at 90 beats per minute, which would be the tempo of the quarter note triplets in relation to the original pulse. Then I synchronized them. In this example, I have panned the 3-4 click right and the 4-4 four four click left. Definitely check your work against a metronome. When you think you've nailed it, you might find that you're actually way out when you try to test yourself against a pulse. For example, looking at the waveforms, I can see that I need to tighten my septuplets, as there is a discrepancy in the rest after the third beat. I also notice that the track recorded to the 3 4 click is generally tighter than the track recorded to the 4 4 click, which means I'm a bit too dependent on hearing the triplet subdivisions, which means I need to get back to work. The complexity of step 1 may vary. For example, in my piece Mr. G's Variations, the process is the same, but the first step is slightly more complicated in that we have to remove two layers, the overarching quarter note triplet and the tuplets within that. This gives us our simplest version, which is still not all that simple. So why did I choose to notate the black page example in 3-4 instead of 6-4? Because the 8th note septuplet crosses over the 3rd beat of the 4-4 measure, meaning that beat is never explicitly stated. In figuring out exactly where the rhythm sits, my personal preference is to break this line into two halves and split the 8th note septuplet into two 16th note septuplets which tie over the bar line. By reducing this figure to 3-4, the bar line clearly shows where this beat is anticipated and by how much it precedes the following note. In my opinion, this septuplet's crossing of the third beat makes it the most difficult phrase in the entire piece to play accurately. Note that this method deals with nested tuplets in reference to an isometric pulse. There are an abundance of nested tuplets in classical works, like Brian Fernie House, but the intended aesthetic focus in that music is very different to the primary features of a piece like The Black Page or Mr. G's Variations. Generally speaking, Fernihal's rhythms contradict each other in a way that results in a uniquely chaotic texture that doesn't necessarily signpost how meticulously ordered the music is. However, in the examples that I have provided, there is a very distinct underlying pulse, and the nested tuplets very clearly function to create and resolve tension over that pulse. Hopefully, this video will reach at least a few people that find it helpful. If you find this method useful, or if you use a completely different method to work out nested tuplets, please let me know in the comments. Also, definitely check the description for related links, including links to some related videos and links to some of my music.